the CX-90 is proving to be the best crossover. And Mazda's plan to increase sales is on the back of new products, new features, and excellent safety. And it's official, the CX-90 is all three. More, 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 more car vids. More. What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise, and the IIHS has tested and found the CX-90 to be a top safety pick plus. And if you remember, with more stringent testing in 23, no other Mazda vehicle had the plus. And Mazda's received great safety ratings over the last few years, but I think on the heels of the release of this all-new crossover, this is the feather in our hat that we needed to prove that it's not just a great vehicle, but also exceeds or meets the highest safety ratings in the country. And yes, these ratings are awarded to the CX-90 and the CX-90 plug-in hybrid as they're viewed as two separate vehicle lines, which means that that's two more added to the fold and two top safety pick pluses. The IIHS president, David Harkey, says that Mazda stepped up to meet the challenge of the strengthened award requirements of 2023 and that these two SUVs had stellar performance and that is a testament of Mazda's commitment to safety. Mazda North American Operations President and CEO Tom Donnelly echoed those statements by saying they're extremely proud to have the 24 CX-90 and CX-90 PHEV to achieve the top safety pick plus, and that safety is a top priority at Mazda, and our engineers work tirelessly to continually improve our crashworthiness and crash avoidance technologies to meet and exceed increasingly rigorous testing standards. Of course, the IIHS records their crash test results, so let's get into the video, but before we do, remember, no crash test dummies were actually injured in this footage. This was the driver's side small overlap front uh, crash test and you can see that it really obliterated the CX-90 as all of these do, but they did measure certain elements of the passenger or the crash test dummy there, and the CX-90 and the plug-in hybrid received all good all the way down the line, which is the highest rating. So the small overlap front, driver side, passenger side, and the moderate overlap front, which was the original test, and the updated side impact test. In recent years, it has been the headlights that have kept us out of higher ratings, specifically the adaptive feature that's available on higher trims and not standard across the line. However, uh, the top safety pick and top safety pick plus do allow for good and acceptable ratings, and the CX-90 uh, mild hybrid or six cylinder did get good and acceptable, and of course the uh, CX-90 plug-in hybrid got acceptable. So we are continuing to get fantastic ratings all the way down the line, and uh, this again, as Tom Donnelly said, is a testament to Mazda's commitment to safety. I think that in future studies, there will be slight changes made to every vehicle along the line, specifically when new generations come, like the next generation CX-5, so that all Mazdas can once again achieve the top safety pick plus. I'm excited for the CX-90 and excited for Mazda and excited for all of you who are continually checking out the CX-90 and taking them home. So thank you for your continued support and continued business. If you have any questions or comments about these test results or ratings or anything Mazda, you can always drop a comment down below or text me directly at 334-718-0504. I'll be here on the boulevard listening out for all the latest Mazda news. And I'll see you on the next one.